Hey everyone, this is Ashley at confectionaryhouse.com. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your fondant into gum paste. It's really easy to do. All you need is some Tylose powder. You might be wondering, what's the difference between fondant and gum paste? Fondant is great for covering cakes and it's great for making any type of decoration that's going to lay flat, cutting out shapes, maybe polka dots, little stars for on top of cupcakes. Fondant is great for it. It's not really meant to harden like gum paste. Gum paste is more ideal for doing 3D modeling like flowers where you wanna roll your petals really thin or bows that you don't want to flop. Gum paste is very pliable and it hardens very quickly. So if you're in a pinch and all you have on hand is some fondant, that's where Tylose powder comes in. I recommend that every cake decorator have a jar of Tylose powder on hand at all times because it really comes in handy when you're in a pinch like this. Also, if you watched my video, How to Make Edible Glue, Tylos powder is what you're going to need. It serves its purpose for more than one thing. To get started, what we'll be doing is taking one pound of satin ice fondant, which I have ready to go right here, and you'll add one to two teaspoons of Tylos powder to your fondant and knead it in. If it's summer and very humid, you're going to add closer to two teaspoons because humidity makes fondant and gum paste really sticky. Goal for this fondant is to stiffen it up and make it more pliable. And if it's humid out, that's going to be more tricky. So here's one teaspoon to one pound of fondant. And I'm just going to start to knead that in. If you're doing this at home for a cake, you might want to wear gloves. For the sake of this video, I did not wear gloves. If you have any extra Tylose powder on your work surface, you can just pick it up with the fondant. You'll notice the fondant is starting to get kind of stiff. What the Tylose powder will do is it will help the fondant dry faster. It will roll thinner. It's more pliable. If it starts to get too stiff for your liking, you can add more fondant to this and it will soften it a little bit. It's gotten pretty firm and it's ready to go just as it is. You can start to roll it out and make decorations with it or start modeling with it, but it is recommended to let it rest for a couple of hours covered. You don't have to do this, but it will let the fondant gum paste situation set up a little better. When you're not using your gum paste, it's extremely important to keep it covered and sealed tightly. It will dry very quickly when it's exposed to air. So I always keep my gum paste covered and I take out little pieces as I'm working. That's it. You've turned your fondant into gum paste. This will help you use up any extra fondant that you have left over from your cakes. And this way you don't have to go out and buy a huge tub of gum paste when you just maybe need a little bit to get you back. Here you can see a bow that I made a couple hours ago. It's pretty much fully hardened and I made this with the fondant gum paste um, transition and it turned out really nicely it was really easy to work with it's holding up pretty well so i hope you give this a try if you do give it a try let me know how it turns out in the comments below tag us in your pictures we love seeing what you're making 